And Dallas officials say that they're ready for the big event. Brooke Rogers listening in today when they spoke about the preparations that have been ongoing for months and the advice that they hope residents will follow. 140 to 144 p.m. next Monday will be showtime, but Dallas leaders are anticipating a packed city all weekend. They say Dallas hotels are 99% full, and there could be hundreds of thousands of visitors here. The number one thing I want people to know is that they need to make a plan for what they're going to do that day. Even if they're not out to enjoy the eclipse, if they are out and about that day, then they might experience some, in it, some uh, traffic issues. Traffic is a chief concern, so they're asking residents to stay off the roads on Monday if possible. And if you do have to drive, they say be sure you have a full tank of gas and don't stop in the middle of a street or highway to watch the eclipse. That we need to ensure that our first responders can respond to emergencies and make their way to local hospitals. Our priority is the safety of the people on our roadways and across our city for this event and those that may be calling for help at this time. And so while it's great that we've got everyone here, it's going to add some stressors to our systems. Chief Garcia says there will be additional first responders on the streets and they've canceled discretionary time off in preparation. The city's emergency operations center will be activated and they'll follow the weather closely and will utilize the outdoor warning system if necessary. They want residents and visitors to enjoy the historic day, but safely. So plan in advance on where you're going. Be prepared to try and get there early and stay late. Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.